and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Summer and today I'm gonna do a little story time. <sighs> this pains my heart honestly to even tell this story because I'm still so depressed about it. But I'm going to share my eyelash extension horror story. And if you clicked on this video, you probably are dealing with the same problem. And girl, let me tell you, I feel your pain. That shit is no joke. It is not fun. And it also just sucks because if you've ever had eyelash, eyelash extensions, you know how clutch it is to just have them on, be able to head out the door. It cuts your getting ready time in half or even in three fourths because you don't have to worry about strip lashes. You don't have to worry about your regular lashes. And even when you're not wearing makeup, you just already look put together because your lashes just make you look awake and alive so before we get into the story please make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video at the very end please make sure you give it a thumbs up all right guys so i'm gonna take you back about a year ago i think that's when i first started getting my eyelash extensions and i was really never one to like be into eyelash extensions i am a makeup artist but i had just always 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 used strip lashes and i was used to it i did it all the time when i would get ready i did my friends i did my clients so it was never really that big of a deal to me but a lot of people around me started to get the eyelash extensions and i would just stare at their eyes in amazement and just be like wow like the eyelash extensions just really level you up in a way and if you've ever had them you know exactly what i'm talking about they take you from like a seven to a ten like that you never have to get ready either and it's just a good feeling knowing that you have those extensions at all times so one day i just decided i was gonna go get them a friend of mine had been getting them for a while and i loved hers so i went to her lady and fell in love instantly i mean i don't know how you could not fall in love they were just everything everything and especially when I would go on vacations, I just loved how my pictures would come out. I loved not really having to get ready. I would slap on some BB cream or some foundation or nothing for that matter and just be out the door because the lashes just always made me feel so confident and just made me feel prettier, honestly. So after getting them a few times, I ended up switching to a different person who was closer to where I lived I went to him for a while, once again, loved them, and was, was not having any problems. About two sessions of getting my extensions done with him, I started to notice that my eyes were a little bit irritated. And I didn't know if it was because I was allergic to something. I mean, cold weather was coming. I've never had allergies in the past. Never been allergic to anything, and I wanna make that clear. I have zero allergies from what I've been told. Although I have not been tested in a long time, I am not previously allergic to anything or sensitive to anything. So I remember it was December, this past December, and my roommate and I were on our way to Arizona and my eyes were just bothering me. They weren't really swollen, but they were a little bit red, a little bit bloodshot and they were itchy. And I just remember complaining to her like, my eyes are hurting. I don't really know why. I'm not allergic to anything. Maybe it's the weather. You know, maybe I'm getting sick. I don't really know exactly what it is, but it was bearable, so I was dealing with it. Um, the whole weekend went on. I didn't really have any problems. And not too long after that, I ended up moving. So I switched to I was getting my eyelashes done again. This was actually now the fourth person I had went to. And previously, in those three people, I didn't have any issues besides the very last time I had gotten my lashes done. So what I noticed was gradually my eyes just became more and more sensitive. And I didn't know exactly what was going on at first because like I said, it was hard to pinpoint if it was my body, if it was the weather, if it was me getting sick. I wasn't exactly sure. So. I ended up getting them done again by this new girl who a bunch of my friends went to and they looked bomb, let me tell you. I will actually link her Instagram below because I love her, she does amazing work. All right guys, sorry, my camera cut off again. It always wants to overheat on me. But what I was saying was I will link my lash girl's Instagram down below. She's bomb, she's booked and busy all the time. So you definitely need to schedule ahead of time 
But anyway, back to my story. So I ended up going to her for the first time because all my girls were going to her and I was absolutely obsessed with their lashes. They looked so good. And within hours of getting them done, my eyes were so irritated like never before and I was like you know what I'm just gonna deal with it I'm gonna see how they are when I wake up the next morning I wake up the next morning and I knew I was going out that night I had somewhere to go and I was just like I, I can't go anywhere like this I cannot go out in public I will if I still have the picture I think I do I will put it right here I have some embarrassing pictures but I don't even care like I'm gonna lay it out for you guys straight because let me tell you I have done extensive research I've also tried to just like force my body to overcome the allergy if that's even a thing because I was so desperate to keep these lashes on. Um, but let me just say that does not work. That's not a thing. It's not like a virus or like being sick where your body can combat it and overcome it. Like something inside your body is sending a response that it does not want this touching your body or anywhere near you. So um, after I sent her that picture, I was like, I think I developed an allergy and she was like, yeah, like something must have happened with the glue coming right away. So I came in, she took them off. I think I gave them like a week or two break and she was like, um, maybe your eyes are just irritated. Like, let's just give it um, a short break and then you can come back and get them done again. So I go back and I get them put on again and it's worse than before. Every single time after that initial first time that they started hurting me, it was getting worse and worse and worse. And it was almost as if my allergy was just, I don't know, becoming stronger and greater and my body was just so angry at me. It was like, what are you doing trying to put the substance on your eyes? So I looked it up and I figured out that your body be can become allergic to the glue that's used for eyelash extensions and there's two different ingredients that are in the um glue that you can become allergic to so one of them is carbon black and the other one is i'm gonna totally butcher this you guys but it's called cyanoacrylate cyanoacrylate something like that um and those are the two things that are in the actual glue that you can develop an, a severe allergy to also, side note, the chances of becoming allergic to the, this glue is slim to none. It's such a small percentage. I think when I looked it up, it's like 5% of people who get eyelash extensions actually develop this glue, sorry, develop this allergy as they have the extensions on. And I was so, so, so angry and pissed when I found this out I was like are you serious like I'm literally in the five percent it might even be lower than that the one percent of people who develop an allergy to this like are you serious so that second time I got them on I was in so much pain once again and my girl couldn't take me to get them off so I ended up going to like a place that puts them on um by the way, I never go to any of the actual little stores that put them on. I always go to people who um, work out of their own little cubicles, I guess you could say, or like out of their house or stuff like that. Um, but I did go to one of those larger places that do strictly lashes to get them removed and I, I had to pay like $60. Um, by the way, if this happens to you, whoever put your lashes on should take them off for free, especially if you let them know ahead of time that you're developing some sort of allergy or irritation to it. But anyway, I went there um, and I had a long talk with the woman who was removing them and she said a lot of times it can do with your diet, it can do with animals that are around you, like if you have a dog. Um, but she made it seem like I would be able to get them on again. I just needed to give my body a full, full rest and recovery period because I had only waited about two weeks. Um, from when they really started hurting to getting them back on again and that wasn't long enough and my eyes the lids just got so dry they were like scaly for probably three months and every single day every night i would put on oils i would put on vaseline like i would put on aquaphor like i would put on so much stuff to help soothe them and it was just a long recovery process i guess you could say and it did sting when i got them off um 
that second time but like I said she made it seem like as long as I took allergy medicine before I came in the next time and I was putting on this special ointment and I was giving it enough time in between sessions that I should be fine I should be able to get them again so of course I'm like so excited and quarantine happened so I was like perfect like not getting anything done anyway so I will wait until we come out of it I will take good care of my skin of my eyelids um and when I come out I will go back to the very first lady that I ever went to because obviously I went to her be before I had any issues or developed anything so after about a three or even four month break from the lashes I reached out to my original lady who did my lashes and I told her how I had become allergic, I believe, to the glue. But she said, just come in, let's try to just do exactly what we did the first time because you never had any issues with me. And I was definitely really reluctant because I was like, well, if I did develop an allergy to the glue, like it's not gonna be any different getting it done from you. But anyway, I went in and I made sure that I took my allergy medicine the night before. I took an allergy pill, took an allergy pill the morning of, and I also made sure I put on ointment right before and I put in allergy eye drops. So I go, she does them and my eyes are really, really clear after. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mind you, this was literally a week ago when I got them done. And I was like so happy. They looked amazing, amazing. The best she had ever done them. The best ones I probably have ever gotten. She doesn't have an Instagram, but I can leave her phone number down below if you're in the Chino Hills area or actually OC. She works out of Westminster. Then definitely hit her up because she's so sweet, but it, it's just my body. And within, I would say like five or six hours, I definitely felt them getting irritated, but not as bad as they were before. So I was like, okay, you know what? Like maybe I'll be able to deal with it maybe it'll subside because I'm taking all my allergy medicine um, and she also said that sometimes you can actually become allergic to the different hairs that they use or the eyelashes um, so I think that's why she wanted to use the same thing as well to see if it was more of the eyelashes or if it was more of the glue and mind you I also have never gotten a patch test done no one has ever offered to do one for me and now thinking about it that obviously wasn't a good decision because I'm paying so much money to get these done and then I end up being in so much pain because nobody patch tested me before so if you're a first timer definitely make sure you get patch tested because you do not want this horror story to happen to you um, anyway, so the next day I wake up, I had work all day. I took my allergy jobs with me, I took my allergy medicine, and it was kind of like on and off. I found when I was super busy, they weren't really irritating me because I wasn't thinking about it. And then the second I would think like, oh, my eyes haven't been irritating me, they would just get extremely, extremely itchy. Mind you, they were bloodshot the entire time. I probably looked high as F, but I was like, you know what? They look so good. I don't even mind looking high and having to basically drug myself to keep these on <laughs> it sounds so bad so i got on them thursday by saturday i woke up and my eyes were extremely swollen extremely swollen i was not happy because i had some somewhere to go that day um but i ended up just doing all my makeup once again taking my medicine hoping that it wouldn't affect me completely and i knew i was gonna be drinking that day too so hopefully it would get my mind off of it and I, it definitely get, got my mind off of it a little. The medicine subsided my swelling just a tad bit. And I'll put pictures of when I had my makeup done. You could see it, it didn't look super swollen, but I also had makeup on my eyelids. So it was harder to see. And the lashes were so long that it was it, you couldn't even really see my eyelid. Um, and by like 4 p.m. that day, I was like, peace out. Like, I gotta go. And I ended up leaving my friend's house because I was in so much pain and I couldn't deal with it anymore. I just wanted to go home. I literally just wanted to sleep and close my eyes and I couldn't. So I ended up grabbing some coconut oil, rubbing it on my eyelashes and just trying to at least get some off to ease some of the pain because they were swelling so bad, itching so bad. All I wanted to do was scratch my eyes, like scratch and take my eyeballs out, take my eyelashes off. It was so uncomfortable. 
and all I could think about was when I was gonna get them off so after getting maybe a few off because the glue was so fresh and they weren't really coming off I was like okay I just need to go to bed and you're not even supposed to take more than one allergy pill a day I think I took another one before I went to bed because I was in so much pain went to sleep woke up I'll put the picture here of how I looked when I woke up it was so bad and my roommate and I were supposed to go to a protest that day which we still went for Black Lives Matter but I went into her room I was like I don't even know if I can go I was like look at my eyes and she was like oh my god like let's just go to your place really quick get them taken off and um and then we can go to the protest and I was like all right sounds good like I don't even think I could have been able to drive because they were so they were so swollen and almost shut and they were hurting so bad so she drives me over there it takes almost an hour and a half for my lady to get them off and that's because i had so many lashes on and like i said it was still pretty fresh this was day three of having them on and by that point well by day two i was like i really just want to see how my body reacts to taking the allergy medicine and trying to fight through this and like i said earlier in the video like this isn't something you can fight through guys like this is real shit. it hurts so bad i don't think i've ever been in more pain or more uncomfortable in my life and it's not like pain you know that's just for a little bit like you get a scrape and okay your knee is stinging for a few minutes like you're in constant pain it doesn't go away and it honestly kills my mood like I'm always in a good mood but this was something that I could not control and it was something that made me so miserable that I just didn't even want to be around anyone like for me to leave my friend's party early is so unlike me but I couldn't do it like I couldn't even engage in conversation because I was so uncomfortable so after getting them taken off I kept putting on ointment Vaseline I kept putting in my eye drops taking my allergy medicine just to help with the swelling and now I am that was last Sunday today is Thursday so it's been four days since I got them off the swelling is finally completely down but they're definitely still itchy like even right now having my false lashes on they're itchy um I don't think I'll ever be able to get them again I asked the lady who just did them this time which was my original lady if I could even use the sensitive glue and she said no probably not and um that's a huge bummer so anyway this is my story time it's over hopefully you guys got some laughs out of my pictures and out of this negative story because I can laugh at it now but I was in so much pain during it if you guys have any similar experiences please let me know in the comments below because I actually posted about this um when I first started getting them a while ago and they first started hurting I posted it on Instagram and I got so many responses to people who had the same issues who developed allergies who took allergy medicine and were able to still get them so I was hoping that I could fall into that category but that obviously wasn't the case but if you're someone who did develop an allergy and used sensitive glue and didn't have those problems anymore please let me know because I would love to get them back I would love it you guys like I could literally cry because I miss them so much there's just nothing like it they look so good in person and in pictures so I'm bummed but anyway if you guys have any questions about my little story time let me know um, in the comments below it sucks but there is a percentage of us out there who just can develop the allergy and um, there's really nothing you can do about it and I don't think our bodies ever become unallergic to something it's bizarre like how can you become allergic to something randomly but then you can never become unallergic I'm not really sure so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this story time hopefully I wasn't rambling too much um, and yeah hopefully I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching